You want to know, see what we're doing? Can I hit it? No. <laughs> There's more to it than just hitting it. <laughs> Here we go. Well, welcome back to Larry's Garage. I'm Jim. And today we got Anthony. Anthony. Say hello. And Anthony's with D150 Nation. Uh, if you've not been on Facebook's D150 Nation, you should go on there. Anything you want to know about a D150, you will find out on D150 Nation. Yep. If I don't know, somebody will. Yeah. A whole bunch of guys. What we're doing today is what do they call that it's a forward tilt hood assembly so the hood said open like normal it's going to open backwards basically is what's going to do and where did you get the kit from i got it from french lake auto minnesota uh, from a scrap yard um finally found it and i didn't like the aftermarket assembly so i wanted to get an oem style and it's been it's been trying to find one they almost the cars are crushed nowadays so, well, these are off of what, late 80s, early 80s, 90s? 87 to 91, Buick and Saber, and Park Avenues. Mm -hmm. So, so what have we done so far? Well, we've got it set across, got it actually lengthened for it to be made into this hood. It had to go five inches um, longer for the to match, match the hood. Of course, the cars were smaller, and we modified the end a little bit for the uh, where the hood bumpers used to be um, to get it to set right and I had to drill another hole here because this one was actually going to fall into the core support you couldn't get to it so now it's the fact of now hooking this up laying the hood down to get it to uh, mount we had to of course split it so now now we're down to welding it back together yep weld it together so it won't move <laughs> all right well, let's get this thing on a pedestal and we'll get her welded together. You okay. got the battery unhooked? Yep. Now, I told him he could hook down. What might, if he wanted to unhook it, great. <laughs> if he didn't, his, his, his alternator. I just never think about it. I just want to get it done. His alternator, his ignition system. You know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gets lined up straight. Apparently, he's doing his job. Yeah, and I can hook up the ground or it ain't going to do matter how much he lines it up straight. It's still going to say no. Some of that off. Looks like Multicolored. You don't like multicolored? I mean, black, I do black and red, but I just can't like do gray. So it's gonna be changed up a little bit. Well, see how it works. It clears. Yes, sir. Yeah, I like that. Actually, I do like that. We do. When I do the Ram Charger, mm -hmm. if you to build it, I may have to do this. I'll find you one. Now, the biggest thing now. Here. My biggest thing now is still my one question. Yeah. Are we gonna have to trim for? Most likely, but we won't know until we get the till the hood comes down. The hood comes I'm down. Sure. I'm pretty sure that tab. What I would do, off. we cut that tab off. That's not a problem. What I would do is I think close, close the hood down, see if it closes far enough, and then reach under and draw your squares. Squares. That are in them mm -hmm. on this side then we'll know where to transfer to that That's side right, exactly so i would really like to 
shut this one you know make all the holes get all the brackets shut it bolt it up then reach out back there or then reach back and take the hinges off right that way we don't lose our your marvelous adjustment now the fun part of that is I don't know how you're gonna get that side off when we do that well <laughs> I, might, I was thinking, this is what I'm, maybe if we bolt, if we bolt it, once we get it on your marker spots, we bolt it. The hood will pop up so far. I'm wondering if the spring, the hinges will allow us to do that with this mounted to it. That's what I'm wondering. But once we have the holes, it's just cheating to be able to. Well, well, well Anthony's not that big. We can put you in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could probably get on that side and lean over. <laughs> Maybe. I, I really like my idea. Actually, I bet you I got enough extension. But, okay. You might be able to reach that from over here. I well, just undo the bolts. Well, what about, because we lay it down and we mark the holes. Once we mark the holes, that shouldn't change from this to that. No, then we could have the marks. You right. can take them off. Yeah, you're right. You got it. An adjustment was already made. That was my idea. Well, on that side, how hard is that hit? On that it hits hard. Yeah, so we turn the lip off. If you would go right on that line, right at the bottom of that, cut that whole piece off, it ought to, ought to clear. Because the spring only hooks, the end of it hooks right here, and it goes on this side. Of it. Right. So it really wouldn't be that hard, hard if you wanted to. You just take a, take that corner right there off. Mm -hmm. It ain't well, going to have to go see, a lot. On, on that side, the reason I was saying cut this because that whole side is hitting over here. Oh! Well, so, so just go right at that line and cut those ears off. Yeah, right we cut the ears off both of them. And then it'll clear. And I'll, if I have to, I can notch this side. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, this is what it looks like when you're trying to figure stuff out. You know, yeah. There's no looking smooth at this. Well, no, and then trying to, you know, maybe like 15 hours of video for 30 minute video. Well, that's in my every, that's every you know, video. Like every Jesus. video I do, it is, it's always, I always spend, end up spending hours right. to make a 12, 30 minute video. And then I'll get, then I get to catch this stuff from, from people. Oh, you never finish nothing. Well, I work every day. Right. <laughs> It takes me a while to get anything done, or it's the, and, I, and they don't realize that you, you, you do it out of your own pocket. You right, know? right. <laughs> I don't have anybody standing in line go, hey, let me pay you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I can't wait to put the radius bar kit on this. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awesome. Thank you. Won't have these things sticking down no more. Oh, you can't even see yours. You know, which is nice. Hi, big boy. Bless him. <coughs> Bird, go you on. Hold it. I think it should be all right. I've been down there, I've been down there a few times. Right. I trust you once, that's that. No. <laughs> Can I really like the way that fits at this. You may have to trim it just a little yeah, more. We wasn't yeah. sure. This side. marker. Just a little bit Sitting on this side the, still here. Where'd the marker go? Right Here, I'll let you guys see what he's doing here. Custom stuff's always fun. Yeah. Got to notch this to go around the battery tray support so it will set the hood down.
I think it's in the back shed is that other battery cover. Okay. Uh, we'll go look later. Okay. That way you can have a blingy battery cover. You look like you're having all oh, way too much fun. Oh, yeah. free sticker that's going on my truck is going on for a purpose. Uh, well, I mean, I don't think you're ever going to get up there. How, what would it take to get the inner fender out if we don't take the battery box out and leave the brace on? It? Yeah. Uh, it's probably the best thing we could do for mountain. We can do it. There's only one or two bolts of the battery train and the support still on the fender. We can take it off. Yeah, that would hold your battery. It'd be the easiest way for us to mark them, plus the easiest way to take the hinges off, too. All right. And they're like, yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> I was just trying to make it somewhat easy. Oh, sometimes, and this is something you find out when you're a professional mechanic for a long time, Sometimes trying to make it easy makes it harder than it would be just to go ahead and do the. Yeah. I watch I watch a lot of new mechanics. Oh, I know. I know. Do a lot of things that struggle. Mm -hmm. And you're like, hey, try this. They go, well, that's a lot of work to go through. Okay, do it your way. Then they end up having to take the part off anyway. Mm -hmm. By worth, 
I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work I ain't tired, you first I'll write a second, third verse About the lies you go disperse You never did shit, I know it hurts Something deep inside won't let me I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours It takes to get some power Don't be fucking sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And Fuck all the doubters, they're just yeah. fucking downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Take a fucking swing Do you got heart? Are you mean? Got some scars? Got some needs? Are you willing to go leave? I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown I swear to God they all let me down Don't you guys, it can take the back top one and the front one off. Do that. I'll do that for a reason. 
will it stay in place when we close it down though until it probably not one. Oh, that looks like or we just heat. We unbolt the hood and we pick this up and then we bolt it on and then we adjust it. Close it down. I wouldn't think you have to though. Yeah. Four holes. You know well, uh, I mean there's a little bit, but I mean it ain't going anywhere on the hood. We've got it marked, so that's what if we pulled the hood, pulled the hinges off, put the hood down, latch it in place, and then pre it in there and bolt it up. Yep. And then pop it. And then we can look at the adjustment all the way around on it. Yeah, because if we set it in there and get it adjusted with the screwdriver on the back to push away from the fenders, mm -hmm. then you can mount it. It's already latched. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yep. Okay. Yo, yo, I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work. I won't turn it on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. It's time to get a one each. Whatever you want, go. Ask them. Never. You know who you might have? Who? Chi Chi. Yeah, he does look like Chi Chi. Uh huh. Everybody, there's certain somebody looks like one kid, looks like another kid. It's a beard. It's a oh, beard. Wow, that's good, sweet teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make my life be just go. <laughs> oh, you need to thank Walmart. It's a great value. Really? Yeah. Don't drink the Milo's. Yeah, I'm not drinking Milo's. I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> wow. That's All sweet. right. I figured you'd drink sweet tea. Yeah. Okay, good. When do y'all want to eat? Whatever you want to cook. Oh, they just cook hamburgers. That's it. Everything else is done. Okay. I'll wait a little bit and I'll slice up, slice up some more cucumbers. Huh? All right. Yeah, well, folks. Clear everything off, sir. Yeah, clear it off so we sit down. We're going to bolt it to the bottom. Well, we got this under control. We can handle this. I got tons of room over here. Yeah, well, no battery. happens when you ain't got a battery to deal with. Right. You really don't want to put the ram head back on it? No. It looks good on your new hood. I ain't putting it on in. I don't like them that much. Yeah, I said it. I don't like them that much. Oh, I got, here's what's bad. I got two of them. That one of them sold the guy for hundred dollars. Yep. I think if I found one in the aftermarket for 60, I said we didn't find the, the original hinged one or spring loaded one. But it's in the house still locked in the fridge. Oh, 
They were all wet. We dropped a spring on Well, I find the spring. I got them. They're right there. <laughs> I put them on. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I you got to put antifreeze in it. I probably wouldn't like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it wouldn't bother me to put antifreeze in it. wonder if you can just kill it. No, nope. granted. Yeah, it's locked. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can take one of my screwdrivers. Small ones. Hook it on the bottom and stretch it. Here, that's what else what you're doing. Hang on. Uh, that's the best way to do this. Come around you. Like this. Yep, just like that. Easy peasy. It's easy to tell you have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> there. There it is. Fucking right. That's what you wanted. Hell yeah. It is cool looking. Dude, I dig it. I like to be different. <sighs> I couldn't. I got them on the nuts. It was tight, but it just seemed like it was gonna pull out the light. So I didn't crank it, crank it. Well, the nice part is, is if you happen, when you get your other hood, you can open it back, grind them off, take your springs back off, lay it back down, pull your independers out, and throw your holes in the new hood. And then nut insert it. Mm -hmm. Those weren't quite what we needed, right. they're what we could get. Because they had a bigger collar on it to go up on there, so you know. That is a slick rig. I love it. It does look cool. Now we gotta get the back done. It's always the fun part. Mm -hmm. Every project, this is always the fun part. Mm -hmm. There's that one. I swear it looks like he's got this notched in that picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's hitting me. That's hitting pretty hard on it. And that wouldn't hurt much to mark it. I'll get the Sharpie wherever it went. In his pocket. I knew the minute I looked over at it, you were already digging. Yeah. I got tired of losing it. And silver ain't going to quite work on silver. It looks like. Right there and hold it in place. Yep. 
Yeah, because it looked like he had a big square cut out of it. So they had to. And if he didn't, then they we were improving it. I like to leave the whole thing on here. I'm going to make this foot lower. <laughs> just cut it up and just my hood. Uh, oh. Okay, okay. I gotta do it. Just do it fast and make it painless. Yeah. Thank you. 
dent in the top side. Can you imagine that? Oh. for good measure. What? That's it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it helps when you got it fucking bumped up, huh? <laughs> yeah, it went all the way in that quick. Alright, now we can close the hood and look from the underside and see what we got. I'll take this back off then. You can put it back on. Well, just, that way we didn't lose it. Put it back on, tighten it up. I got the right to give you. This looks like it's going to work. Then we'll take it back off. Clean everything up and I'll pack weld these two to two and then we'll get taken apart and weld them up. That thing come in handy for something. All right. That worked out good. So we're going to. We're going to have to notch that hood in another spot. That's what we're going to do.
Not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. You only gonna take this shit off later to paint it and clean it up and jump it to the pain in the ass. And just mm -hmm. and a little higher. Higher? Uh, that's why I poured the concrete for six or seven years ago. <laughs>
citizen. I would never own something with the boss that I shouldn't have. Right. <laughs> All right, my tape measure. Uh, he hit it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Well, I did. If you want us to look around for a while. <laughs> we real footage. Inch and five eighths last time is what I went, wasn't it? Or two and five eighths. Or two and five eighths. Two and five eighths. No, we weren't off the edge, were we?
bolt, and I got the nut and the washer, so I just ran a washer down each one of them. Fuck it. I've got your bowls, I'd say nuts. We're gonna wash them in lock water. So we get it. See? Now we gotta take that off. Take that off and go straight this way. Throw the hole in the time. We want to where I marked it earlier. Okay. That way we have it slotted. In all and kinds of ways. Yeah. You need the adjustability. Start putting this side together. Drill out holes and making slots. And then it's down to adjusting. Mm -hmm. Which means sitting on the ground, pushing up on it and tightening bolts until, <laughs> until it's right. Adjust it forward, backwards. Yep. Okay. Make sure my light gets put back oh, in my truck. I will make sure your light gets put back in your truck. That's plenty high enough. It looks like it's low all the way. I can see the lip of that one. I yeah. can't on this one. It is right here, but it's, it gets weird right mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Well, that's, it gets higher back here and higher up there than it is in the middle. Yeah, oh, so it will dodge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would show him how to fix that, and you probably want to kill me. It wouldn't hurt to raise that one before we do anything else. That's right. The yeah. like front corner is still low, see? Bob. Yeah. Uh, before we uh, worry about the main latches, mm -hmm. we need to break it loose again on the up and down and shove it further up. Okay. On that side? Yeah. Yeah, not this side. This side. It's probably the same as what we did over here. I have to, you have to overextend it. To get it to stay. See, because it does this when you one. tighten yeah. So we'll loosen the main hit or the top. Which one would you guys that one lower this thing? No, I think we tightened it, did we? I didn't. I didn't. I don't know. Good here. We didn't tighten either one side, yeah. 
But see, here's the thing. Yep. So when you drop this, it should drop this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Feel it yep. there. Dodge is great. Yeah, I'm good. good. All the way across here. Just about right there. Yeah, well, that's just. And then that's just the. Call. Welcome to 1980. Remember, I had to do the door. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> is this the reason there's a stir up there? Yeah, it's storage. Okay. <laughs> I put it there earlier when I was. No, Redmond. <laughs> might need it later. Yeah, well, you know. You never know when you might need it. I'll fix the same thing. I just could reach the top from down there. <laughs> Over there. Uh, Real reason they lowered it so you could reach down there and work on it. So you can get under the hood? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, fuck, you push that up. You gotta do what you gotta do. I just did. <laughs> yep, you're getting there a little more. I seen you move it. There. Right there. Yeah, a little bit. Overdo it because we had to overdo yeah, the other side. Go a little extra. And then tighten the front. There. And tighten the front one longer. Got the extra. Okay. How about the back one? This, I'll show you, I can show him how to fix this. He's going to have a heart attack. You block the wood. <laughs> Where's that? I, mean, I know we got some two by fours around here somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, now, we, now we just got to do the other two. Yeah, the the we, side to sides. Can we stay here and do that? Yeah, go ahead. It looks like it's sitting good and it's in the guide. You're doing a great job. Yeah. You're yeah. never going to get one of these hoods perfect. Mm -hmm. Bucking the 80s. Not unless you skin coat. You see the gap on this door? Mm -hmm. That's great. Because before this, <laughs> yeah, it was double. It was fucking one. I had to grind the slots with the diagram with my die grinder to get the slide far enough back. Wondering if his is that way. Yeah. finished body work if he was and we'd be doing a lot of different stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that would never fly. I don't know how that sat wide on this side. That's closer over there. And it ain't sticking out from the though, is it? No. There's only one way that fixes that. That's on loose in the front. Core sport, and we go side to side with it. <coughs> we ain't gonna tell him that that's gonna break his heart. But then the core sport is loose and it goes one way or the other. What for? That's, <laughs> how, you, that's <laughs> how you fix that gap being different over there and over here. Or it's just tell it's him. original, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's original. And the lines this way are great. <coughs> yeah. It's so I need to push up on this one or no? No, it's that was perfect. Okay. That was perfect as a bent up hood can be. <laughs> yeah.
Right side. Go. Go. I gotta hope I got enough pizza to put in. I need to both give more than once. <laughs> I would hate to guess what it would take to actually fix the caps on these perfect. See this truck had been wrecked. this truck had been hit. Mm -hmm. The original core support was buckled and the fender on the right side had a bow mm -hmm. in it. Right. And nothing lined up right. That open one quite cracked down. Uh, I got a pipe. Oh, see it looks functional. There we go. Weird how far that fender goes. See how far that one goes down? When you shut it, it pops up. Hey, whatever. I'm good with it. Flip it forward, and then one hand, one person up here, not pushing it. Good. It might just be the, the hinges, because I mean, they're trying to flip it. Hang on, not ideal. There you go. Yeah, I remember we had it apart and welded it. It's still here. I'm going to come there. When you come down, I, I probably could put some piece of paper in it. What you may have to do is make sure you grab this side and give it a little twist and you shut it down. Yeah. It wasn't the open and shut it to me. Huh? It wasn't the open and shut it. Just like the right here. You just put a little pressure this way. I'm fine with that. And what it is is when we got welded this back together, we probably didn't get exactly perfect. Probably. Where the hinges were. Perfect. Well, they were laying you know, on the stops. Yeah, but, you know, but. No, you still, when that you was my that bar in half, it's gonna. That was my biggest concern when I was like, man, I should, maybe I should wait to cut it. I'm like, no, I'm gonna get this fucking, I don't want more shit I can mess with. <laughs> but I know what I know now, because I just fucking left it. And it was here. I can. All right, we need top maybe. Maybe these top bolts because that makes sure you hear everything. If you look at it, this is going to down further in the corner. Mm -hmm. On the, the bar bolts. Yeah. Yep. So that's what's doing it. What is it? This looks closer than that one. It wasn't quite the same. What you could do is hold it right around the latch and grab hold of this with something and tweak it. But he's the only guy I close it. When we tighten that one, it may change how it fits too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I thought you got it out, so I'm gonna let you put it back. Well, I had to take the fucking blame for it. I promise you. I know. I know how it is. But honey, I didn't do it. It don't matter. You're the one. See, now I got a tailgate I need to sell. Yeah. Hey, really, really nice tailgate. I know, I see it. You see it back there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. There's always some of them out there. Hey, you put a light pull on this. You close it? Yep. Yeah, for some reason this hood's twisted. I can tell you right now, it ain't, it, the hood's been twisted. Well, hell, when it fucking kinked it, that's what it was. Yeah, because look at this. That one ain't even touched. Yeah, I know, that one can touch it down there. Because when they fucking kinked it, well, however they kinked it. So, I not have any of this issue with the other hood. Nope. You put it on. Yeah, it may go right on and not have any issues. Depending on how much you worked it. Still needs it. Battery cable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's second. I can't ride anything to go home with it. It's worth a bird. 
I was at least going to wait until you tried to start it. <laughs> Do what? Do what? Start. Am I pulling it out now? Hang on, before we cut it up. Uh, oh,